Hello friends, welcome back to this series of Python and uh, as you know that uh, nowadays we are discussing about the database connectivity using the Python scripts. So continuing with that, uh, we are going to discuss about the stored procedures today and we will see that how we can create the stored procedures in MySQL and then how we can connect to the database and call those uh, stored procedures using the Python script. Uh, I'm not going to discuss about the stored procedures, what are they? I'm just going to write a simple stored procedure and uh, I believe that you guys are aware about the stored procedures, how they are written and what are they, right? Because this is uh, not a database class, it's a Python class. So uh, we need to focus on the Python only. So let's first create a script, which is a SQL script and that will be creating a stored procedure for us. So this is my test DB and uh, you can see that we have already created uh, one database table with name employee and there are three records in this table. And now uh, we are going to create one stored procedure which will return all the rows in this employee table, right? Using that particular stored procedure. So to create a stored procedure, you can open this MySQL workbench you can select the database and then you can go to the stored procedures and then right click on it and then just select the create stored procedure. Here you can see that there is a name given, the default name is given to the stored procedure. We are going to give it a new name, my EMP records. This, this will be the name of the stored procedure. So first I am going to create a kind of a stored procedure which is not taking any arguments. It doesn't take any argument and it will simply return all the records in the database table. So to return all the records from the database table, we just need to write this, select asterisk from employee and place a semicolon, that's it. And then just click on apply. And after clicking on apply, you can see that this is the SQL script in front of you, which is the actual SQL script, which will be creating the um, procedure for you and then just apply it. Once you apply it, the stored procedure will be visible here under the stored procedure leaf. Okay. So this is the node and this is the leaf of this node stored procedure. So my EMP records is the stored procedure. We have created it and now we will use this uh, Python, use our Python script to call this particular my EMP records SQL script and then we will see if we are able to read all the records or not. So here all the things are similar like connection, you first create the connection, these are the same things and then you are checking whether the connection is connected then we are going to create a cursor. This is very much important. Once you are connected to a database then you must need to create open a cursor, not create, open a cursor using that connection, right? And now we are just going to fetch the data from the database table using this cursor, right? So we will call the procedure. So to call the procedure, what you will write cursor dot call proc. This is the function call. This is the method which you use to call a procedure which uh, resides at the database server, right? So here I'm going to write like my EMP results. I guess this was the name. Let me just check it again. My EMP records. My EMP records. R E C O R D S. This was the name. And since we don't have to pass any argument, so we just leave it like this. And then whatever it will return, we just need to print that as well. So what I will do for result in cursor dot stored underscore results, you need to call this, this function you need to call stored results and then you can just print result dot fetch all, which means that all the records I need to print. Okay, so just need to run it. And let's see if all the records come or not. Okay, you can see that all the records are here. So how does it return the records? It returns a list of tuples. Each tuple is a row and the list of all those tuples is returned by the cursor.stored results. 
okay so we know that in results we have uh, all the uh, rows all the uh, rows in the form of tuple and there is a single list which contains all those tuples right so we can do something like this to check each and every record uh, result is equal to cursor dot fetch all result dot fetch all not result r e s u -E l t rather than i should like r list is equal to result dot fetch all now you can do something like this r list in for r in r list or you can say like for row in r list then just print a single row all right so let's see if it works or not okay so you can see that all the tuples have been separately printed now what if we want that each of the records should be printed separately then what we can do co else is equal to row for c in calls print c and then what we can do print this thing to separate the records from one another so let's see so you can see that every record is displayed here and uh, after each record there is a separator right so you can decorate it as you want okay now we are going to just uh, call the procedure we are going to create a procedure which takes some argument okay suppose we want to modify this procedure in such a way that it takes one argument which is the employee id and that is of the type int right so this is taking one argument which is the input argument and the name of that argument is emp id and that is of type int and what we want from this procedure that uh, this procedure should return only those records for which this emp id matches okay so i just need to do this change where id is equal to emp sorry emp id okay this we save just need to apply it just need to apply it and just finish it this has been updated now let's go back to our script and this time if we if we provide here an argument how we'll provide the argument first let's see that you have to provide the argument in the form of a list right so you will create a list empty list and then how many arguments you need you know you only need one argument and you want to see the record of that employee whose id is 1001 right suppose we want to see the record of this employee 1001 so what we can do in the list we need to provide 1001 and then you need to place a comma but there is no second uh, there is no second argument so you will not provide any second argument but you will pass the first argument like this 1001 and then you will place a comma right and now we will just run it and this time it should only display one record whose employee id is 1001 so you can see that how you can create the different kind of procedures which takes arguments and which doesn't take any arguments in the mysql database server and then you how you can call it uh, through the python script all those things you can see here okay so this was all for today and uh, before i conclude uh, i would like to tell you that this is uh, this was only for the demonstration purpose you can do lot many things like if you want to do uh, some kind of update some kind of uh, uh, some kind of deletion of records from the database table then also you can write the script here right so that i leave it up to you that uh, how you will do your practice for the deletion and the updation of records in the database table 
but uh, this was the basic idea that how you can do it so if i try to delete any record from this uh, through this script then what i can do i can just simply like delete from employee where id is equal to employee id so in that case this particular procedure will start deleting the records from the database having a particular employee id okay so this was all guys for today and uh, yeah one more thing like uh, if you are writing this thing uh, for uh, delete or update you need to take care of like you need to ensure that you are committing the records or you are you are committing all those things which you are performing but you need to check if commit is needed here or not at all right so you need to check that one so that's all for today guys and in the next video i will check what else i can cover in the database connectivity with python otherwise we will move towards the next topic okay so have a nice day bye bye and please like subscribe my channel and share the videos